Welcome everyone back to AI on Crypto. This channel we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all things on the blockchain. Do what we can to fill your bags to the max, keeping you far, far away from Rex City. Today, guys, it's going to be a quick video after a long day. You know, I do what I can to bring something of value to you, to, to, to you people that tune in all the time. I want you walking away with something that you can take, take home to the bank. And today, we're going to talk about a project called Shadows. But before we get into it, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love to add you to the community. Tap the bell so you don't miss any future content. Sometimes, like today, it's time sensitive and missing out on the episode could be missing out on profits. If you like what you see, tap the thumbs up. And YouTube might just share it around once or twice. Okay, Shadows. This is a brand new project. The IDO happened today, Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Shadows. All right, guys. This is basically being called the synthetics of the Polkadot network. So if you're new to crypto, synthetics is widely regarded as one of the top DeFi blue chip tokens. All right. So DeFi is something that's been you know, really going crazy within the crypto communities. You know, it started, it seems like a couple of summers ago, and it just really kind of took cryptocurrency out of the bear market and, and breathe, breathe life into the markets when DeFi kind of emerged with Uniswap and all the other decentralized exchanges and DeFi, you know, services that are out there like urine finance, yield farming, lending, you know, now the NFTs are coming. But Synthetics, guys, Synthetics is a token that has done incredible. If you would have bought Synthetics when it first came out uh, a year or so ago, you would be looking at 100x gains or more. I mean, this thing was 30 cents. Now Synthetics is like approaching $30, guys, right? And <clears throat> currently, Synthetics has a market cap easy 100 times shadows, right? So uh, the Polkadot Network is not some chump network. The Polkadot Network is here to stay. Gavin Wood was actually one of the top developers on Ethereum when it was being designed back in the day. So you're talking about one of the founders of Ethereum. I might have been their CTO, their chief technical officer. I'm not quite sure about that, Gavin Wood, but I know he was right up there. It's Vitalik, and Polkadot Network is going to... Really, it's, it's going to make noise and it's going to be much bigger in the future than it is today. All right. So Shadows is basically the synthetics of the Polkadot network, they say. So what does that mean? It means that you can create synthetic assets on the blockchain. What I mean by that is you could have something like Tesla stock or, you know, Amazon stock, something that might be hundreds or thousands of dollars, but you can tokenize it with these synthetic products so that like in crypto, you, can't, you don't have to just buy the whole Bitcoin. You can buy a small piece of a Bitcoin. Well, with a synthetic trading asset, you could actually do that with something like a Tesla stock, Amazon, or even like real estate. So with the synthetics like t technology, you can turn anything into a tokenized asset. So that's what Shadows is kind of being hyped as, the synthetics of the Polkadot network. And all I have to say is that if that's true, then Shadows is a it's a must own. And right now, it just launched on the IDO. Guys, this thing launched for probably under a dollar. I don't know the exact price. Shot up to 11 bucks. $11. Came all the way down to $1. Now, it's gone all the way back up to the mid threes. And it looks like it's starting to consolidate and stabilize around 294. If you're new to crypto, if you're new to IDOs, initial DEX offerings, there's a pattern that happens. Whenever the token hits the exchange, there is an initial pump. This pump is driven by bots. So there are all these bots that know that the IDO is happening. And as soon as that hits it, the bots buy it, buy it, buy it up. And then people FOMO in and the bots dump all over them. So there's always a peak. And then the pre-sellers and the people that got in early they start selling along with the bots and then that first dip. So if you didn't get in on the pre-sell 
or if you didn't get in early on an IDO platform like, say, Duck Starter or Pools or Polka Starter, then your best bet is to buy one of these tokens right after the first dip, after the bot pump, okay? So how do you know great projects like Shadows are coming? Follow the communities of like DuckDow Dime, Pools Network, some of these great incubators that are merging, and you might not be part of those investment tiers that they have because you if you, you can get into pre-sales through owning those tokens, but if you don't have the tokens, what you can do is at least see the actual projects that they are incubating. And by doing this, you can get in early on projects that you know at the very least aren't scams, okay? It doesn't matter who incubates what. There is no such thing as a guaranteed success in crypto. Everything is risky. Do your own research for sure. But getting early on these projects can create life-changing wealth. The problem is it's highly risky because if it's an unknown project launching on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, the token could literally be nothing. It could be a group of scammers in some weird country in their basement, you know, with a whole false identity, and they launch a token and then as soon as people buy into it, they do what's called a rug pull. They sell all their assets, they dump it, they remove the liquidity off of Uniswap, and the people that bought it are left holding the empty bag, okay? So by investing in early in one of these kind of vetted, incubated projects, even if you're not getting in the pre-sale, you're still getting super early access and ownership on projects that have been vetted. And right now, crypto is still so new that these projects that succeed are gonna do super well. Even the ones that perform medium are gonna be like life-changing opportunities, okay? So let's take a look at their site real quick. It says Shadows is a hub for issuing, trading, lending, and borrowing synthetic assets. See, there you go. There's that word, synthetic assets. Basically, they can create a a synthetic representative asset and peg it to the real world value of whatever it's representing. So here's the white paper on their site if you want to see it. It's a lot of heady DeFi stuff. The best way to understand it is that it's going to be the synthetics of the Polkadot network. So Shadows is the backbone of a Web3 as a store of value, allowing anyone to trade on-chain assets from anywhere. What is Shadows? Shadows is a decentralized synthetic asset issuance protocol built on Substrate. The value of these synthetic assets is underpinned by DOES, and as long as DOES is locked in a smart contract, synthetic assets can be issued. So, they, so by people owning the DOES token and locking it on the ecosystem, this allows the protocol to create synthetic assets. So it really depends on the community seeing value in it and locking. But as long as they can get a community and start getting some value locked, then they can really create some coveted synthetic assets. So a unique debt pool design mechanism, trading of a synthetic asset is essentially a transfer between debts. Smart contracts automatically execute the conversion of a synthetic asset to another synthetic asset without an order book without counterparties, and without the problems of liquidity and trading slippage. So why would somebody want a synthetic asset instead of the real thing? Well, since there will always be people who are unable or unwilling to hold the initial asset, synthetic assets can fulfill our more diversified needs. For users with hedging needs, they need stable coins, which are synthetic assets on the blockchain for liquidity rather than dollars. Synthetic assets can often have more financial attributes than the original. For example, you can't earn interest just by holding Bitcoin, but you can obtain continuous income by holding XBTC anchored to Bitcoin, okay? So what is the DOES token? It's going to be what powers the Shadows Network. So there's going to be four distinct purposes of the DOES token. One will be trading bonuses. When someone trades synthetic assets in the Shadows Network, transaction fees are generated. This will be distributed to DOE's holders. So that's going to be one reason to hold the coin. Synthetic asset reward. Users can pledge DOE's into smart contracts to cast synthetic assets, and the corresponding rewards can be obtained if the collateral rate reaches 800%. Staking. 
Users who hold DOES can use it as collateral to cast synthetic assets and receive staking rewards. Governance. DOES token holders will have the right to vote on system governance, such as adding new features, upgrading and fixing protocols, etc. Okay, guys, look at their partners. Lots and lots of partners. Duck Dow Dime, Dow Ventures, Rio Fund, Polka Fund, Candac. Tons and tons of partners, guys. Um, so if you made it this far, I hope that means you like the video. And if that's the case, give your boy a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss future content. Tap the bell for notifications. I am bringing this video to you now because I feel like $2.90 over the course of time is going to be a great, amazing opportunity. Now, it's a brand new coin. It already went to $11 and back down to $1. $1 would have been absolutely phenomenal. Like, oh my gosh, if we could go back to a dollar, keep an eye on it. But I, I actually don't recommend waiting and hoping it falls because over the course of the long term, what a great entry price I believe this will be for shadows. Like I say, I look at the success of synthetics and I see that here. So I implore you to take this project seriously. You can get it on Uniswap. Don't FOMO in. Don't sell all of your coins that you love to do this. But if you have some capital that you were thinking about making a move with or some badly performing coins, Doze at $2.95 could be awesome. Could go down to $1.50 tomorrow right after you buy it. It's early. The market cap is small, so the swings are big. But guys, if I, I do your own research. Crypto is risky. I'm not a professional, but I believe if $2.95 Doze, two, three, four months from now, you're laughing at how you got in so low. Speaking of that, see you on the next video.